Welcome back to Z Tutorials and in the last two videos we went through both the perks and the weapons of Call of Duty Black Ops and now we're going through the confirmed kill streaks. So I'm not going to wait any longer, let's just dive straight into this. So here we are, I made this little template for you guys so you can see what I'm on about really easily. So we have the kill streaks there, down by 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 11 kills. So let's start off by explaining some of them. So first off we have in 3 kills, you can get a spy plane. Now we're presuming that the spy plane is going to be UAV, that's pretty simple. Um, and Or else you have the choice of an RC car. Now uh, there's been a lot of controversy over this RC car. Basically what it is, if you, haven't, if you don't know already, it's basically um, a little toy car I suppose you could say it is and the user controls it and you can run it into people and then it'll explode and kill them um i think it's a fun little thing i i don't know i have no problem with it but some people do that's their opinions i suppose so next up is the fourth kill so with that kill you can get a counter spy plane which is counter uav or a sam turret now a sam turret is it basically takes down all the air support in the sky except for blackbird um, so Blackbird is going to be very very important and I'll let you know what that is later on, that is 8 kills. So for 5 kills you can get a care package, which basically you can get anything in a care package, or a napalm strike. Now the napalm strike is just basically a big ass ball of fire that rains from the sky. So it's kind of like a precision air strike, if you have seen some pictures of it, it's just a big ass ball of fire is the best way to explain it. Uh, for the 6 kills you have the sentry gun and you have the mortar, mortar team so no need to go through sentry gun uh, mortar team is basically you can bomb three parts of the map so three areas in a map you can bomb so that would be good as well that looks pretty interesting uh, for seven kills you have the attack helicopter now it's not confirmed but uh, we're presuming that it's the same as the attack helicopter that was in modern warfare 2 where you actually don't you know you don't control it that attack helicopter uh, or else you can have the valkyrie rockets now what the Valkyrie rockets are is the user is on the ground and they basically get this big kind of pistol thing, well not pistol, uh, a launcher and uh, inside that launcher you have two mis missiles and you can control them launch, you control where they go so you launch it from the ground and then you can control where it goes so you can go the whole way around the map and kill someone and then launch a second one. So that's look pretty interesting and pretty fun. I am looking forward to using that one myself. Next up is Blackbird. So Blackbird is UAV with directional arrows on where the players are heading. So if you put up Blackbird, you will not only see the UAV, so the red dots of where people are, you'll also see a little arrow to where they're running to. So you'll be able to cut them off and do all cool, cool sort of stuff. And if you noticed before, I said that it is it cannot be destroyed by the sand torrent because it is undestroyable so no one can take down the blackbird so it, that's pretty cool it's undestroyable so the sand torrent won't be able to take it down um, which is very very fair because the sand torrent is only four kills but the blackbird is eight kills so lots of people will be getting the sand torrent but not many will be getting the blackbird and i'll tell you why not many people will be getting blackbird in a second but next up is rolling thunder and this is either kind of like a carpet bombing or a pave law. We don't know which one, we don't have confirmation on that yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be a pave law because I heard pave law was coming back. So I'm going to go with pave law. Uh, then for the 11 kills, or sorry, 9 kills, we have the chopper gunner, no need to go through that. And for 11 kills, we have the attack dogs, so same as Modern Warfare 1. Uh, attack dogs coming back, that's really cool. I like them, they're really powerful attack dogs. People don't realize how powerful they are, that's why they're 11 kills. And you have gunship. Now, gunship is, it's going to be like an AC-130, I'm guessing. I can't say anything else other than that. Um, I'm saying it's going to be like a machine gun and a, a missile launcher. It's going to have two of them on it. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Now, there's one thing I need to go through with you guys. So I said earlier that not many people will be getting Blackbird. But uh, I know some people will be shouting at me there saying, well, of course they will. All they have to do is get a, a sand torrent and then get their kills, use their kill streaks to get 8 kills. Kill streaks don't add on top of each other. So basically if you get an RC car at 3 kills 
and you drive that RC car into someone's back and it blows up on top of them and puts their ass all over the carpet, then that kill won't add to your current kill streaks. It'll add towards your kills, so if you have three kills, it'll go to four kills, but it won't give you your counter spy plane or sand turret. You'll have to get another weapon kill to get your four kills. So to get the attack dogs or gunships, the highest kill streaks, you'll have to get 11 kill streak kills with your weapon on its own. No kill streaks add on top of each other. So that's pretty interesting by Treyarch there. It's interesting. Uh, there's one other thing I wanted to say as well. Uh, there was a big, big, as you see, there was a big, huge problem with um, boosters inside Modern Warfare 2. Everyone knows about this and a lot of people hate them. If you're a booster, you probably love it, but um, if you were a booster, and anyone, everyone knows this, you go into free-for-all basically with one of your friends or a couple of your friends into a lobby of free-for-all and then you're guaranteed you be paired up against each other and then you can just go away and boost for the whole game. That was using tactical insurgents. Now, they didn't actually get rid of tactical insurgents, but what they did is they banned tactical insurgents from being in free-for-all. So, it's going to be pretty goddamn hard to boost in free-for-all from now on. Team deathmatch, you'll just have to be lucky and get with your own team. So, it'll probably take away from the boosting community a bit more. So, that's a good thing. Um, no one likes a booster. So, I think that's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. There's the kill streaks for you guys. And there's some extra info. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, this is... Uh, I made this into a desktop background. So, if you guys want to have the desktop background. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so if you want that, that's downloadable file in the description. Also, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And I have a question for you guys. That is, what will be your kill streaks? So I think I will set my kill streaks to probably Napalm Strike with Valkyrie Rockets and Attack Dogs. So that'll probably be mine. Napalm Strike, Valkyrie Rockets, and Attack Dogs. I want to use the Valkyrie Rockets, that's why I want to have that as my kill, 7 kill streak. So, uh, what do you guys, what's, what's going to be your kill streaks? What do you think you like? Um, that's my one. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Also, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll keep you updated. If you want to be most, more updated, and if you're one of those people who watched my, uh, my iOS 4.1 um, update videos, you can get more updates on them and Black Ops and everything to do with tech really by following me on Twitter. So that's at ctutorials. So twitter.com forward slash ctutorials. If you follow me there, you'll get more info there as well. But just make sure you subscribe if you like this video. Thank you all for watching. And this is Z Tutorials signing out.